Cooking with Chaos is brought to you by Reunity One. <laughs> uh, enjoy in moderation. <laughs> okay. All right. Today we are making a pasta bake. Pasta bake is more or less lazy man's lasagna. Instead of lasagna noodles, you use rigatoni or whatever you uh, have at hand. Um, boil those to al dente. Now, while you're doing that, you uh, you mix the ground beef with the pasta sauce and mushrooms and a clove of garlic and let them simmer. Do not drain the beef. There's got to be a little grease in it. Oh, and also, to uh, make sure you get all, to get the most out of the sauce, add some reunity. <laughs> A little bit, don't hurt. Right, now, when we're done with that, now while, while that's going on, while that's going on, prepare thyself a glass 9 by 13 baking pan. Must be glass, because it's easier to wash afterwards. Get the shredded cheese handy. Okay, then, then, uh, see, yeah, then what do you do now? Okay, I turned off the... So, first of all, you drain the noodles. This can be accomplished with a handy-dandy strainer. Do, 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 do. A little, uh, a little re uneasy there. Okay. <clears throat> Are you getting all this? Okay, good. I hope so. Now, it's time to drain the pasta. Pasta, pasta, pasta. Oh, I love this part. This is so much fun because uh, you uh, you raise a hell of a cloud of steam. <laughs> Oh, look at that! It's magical! Um, Zindor, um, okay. Alright. So give them, uh, give them a little shake. Give them a little shake, okay? Alright, and, uh, and then what you do is you just, uh, add them directly to the sauce. Hmm. And, oh, shit. Gotta switch hands here. Good thing I'm ambidextrous, huh? Then you gently marinate. Mix them in with the sauce. Ah, uh, don't those look good? Yeah, like I said, you don't have to boil the noodles until they're all soft and mushy. You just uh, just do them until they're al dente, because this dish is going to bake in the oven for a good half an hour, and it will complete the cooking then. The, the noodles will absorb some of the sauce and therefore much of the flavor. And you must, you must have mushrooms. You absolutely must have the mushrooms because they are the food of the gods. As, uh, as the Emperor Nero said about his uh, <coughs> predecessor, Claudius. Inside joke there for all you history buffs. Okay, now... Now that that is done, now that it's all mixed in, piece of cake, right? Now here comes the tricky bit. Here comes the tricky bit. Oh, hell. Again, uh, let me see if I can... Oh, okay. This should give you a uh, nice ground eye view of what I'm going to do next, because I need both hands to do it. Okay. So you... Ow! Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Pan is hot. That's hot. Okay. There we go. Meat sauce and noodles go into the pan. Correct? Correct me if I'm wrong? Am I wrong? I'm never wrong. Alright. Hope you got that. Now, set that aside for washing. Okay, now, now comes the fun part. Now we uh, mix in the ch 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 cheese. The cheese. I like to use. Hmm. Oh, okay. Is this gonna work? <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Ah, oh, man. Alright, so. My handy cameraman, Jenny, will, uh, not help because she, evolution has denied her a thumb. That sucks. Alright, so we'll, uh, three rig a sort of a leaning tower of. And hope the camera does not fall into 
the sauce. Well, screw that. Okay, so. Hello. So you put a handful of... Any cheese will do. You gotta have mozzarella, but uh, any other shredded cheese will also do. I'm throwing in a little, uh, little sharp cheddar. Just for, you know, just for laughs. And a little taco cheese. I mean, who oh, I thought? What the hell? This is American, right? You know, it's, 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 it's a melting pot. It's a cultural melting pot. And, <laughs> and lastly but not leastly, you gotta put in mozzarella. You gotta have the mozzarella. You gotta have that mozzarella, baby. Lots and lots of mots. Lots of mots. Right? Right. You gotta have the mozzarella. That's not Italian. Eh? Okay. <coughs> then you, uh, you fold the cheese in. Make sure it mixes well with the meat sauce and the noodles. Or pasta, I should say. There we go. I like it cheesy. I like it cheesy. And this is why I eat oatmeal every morning. Because, you know. And prunes also help. Because <laughs> cheese will plug you up tighter than a drum. <laughs> there you go. All right. Doesn't that look good? <laughs> is it nice and cheesy? Well, yes it is. But, 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 but. You have to think, you have to think of the appearance as well. And uh, therefore, once you mix in the cheese... Sprinkle some more cheese on top. You know, a topping this provides a little bit of a cheesy crust. It's also good to eat this with a salad because uh, I'm not going to put any more sharp cheddar on. I think uh, enough is enough there. But uh, for coloring and flavor, uh, a little more taco cheese on the top of that. Okay. A little of that, and one more. One more important to grit. Now, see, doesn't that look nummy? Okay, but we're not done yet. We're going to grab the grated Parmesan. The Parmesan, oh. And we sprinkle a little Parmesan on top of all that. Yeah. That way you don't need cheesy garlic bread. You know, just, just garlic toast. Okay, and now, now for the grand finale. Okay, that's going to give you a nice shot. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it in the oven. <laughs> Don't look at my ass. There, there we go. Ah, now. Now let Mr. Oven do the work. Yee, you just set the timer. Set the timer for... Thirty-five to thirty-six minutes. It depends on how powerful your oven is. I usually go thirty-five, thirty-six. Let's go thirty-seven. What the hell? And in a half an hour, dinner is served. This has been Cooking with Chaos, brought to you by Rioniti. <laughs> Party till she's cute.